Today I'm going to show you how to connect your iConnectivity interface to your iOS device, so your iPhone, your iPad, etc. Uh, today I'm going to be using an iPad Pro with USB-C, um, and I'll show you how that connection is going to go for that. Um, so if you actually look at this, we have this little hub here. Um, it's done by Ugreen. I can link this in the description. Um, I think it's the outdated device, but it's got USB-C on the end to go for my iPad. And then it's got a bunch of USB ports and stuff. But we have on the very end here an Ethernet jack. So we're going to connect that Ethernet jack to our cable here. So let me grab our cable. So we're just going to take our Ethernet cable here and we're going to connect it into the end of the hub. There we go, so that's connected now, and I'll connect the USB-C side to our iPad. And so now we have USB-C going to this little hub right here, and that's going Ethernet, which is actually going into a switch, uh, but it could also go directly um, into the Mio XL itself. I also have the Mio XL connected to my computer, uh, which we're going to look at here in a second. So let's go into our Oracle X software. And we're going to use this just for setup. Um, after that, technically, we wouldn't need it anymore. Um, but we're going to use this to set things up. So on our iPad, I'll bring up the screen here. On our iPad, we're going to go into Settings, About, and we're going to look at this name information right here. This is going to be very important for this setup. Um, so we're going to click on name here. And often you'll see this set up as like um, John's iPad and there'll be an apostrophe in it. Um, please remove the apostrophe um, and try and make the name under 15 characters. Don't start it with a number or letter. This is actually going to be your bonjour name. It's called your bonjour name. And that's how you're going to connect via Ethernet to the Mio XL in this case. Um, or whatever iConnectivity uh, Ethernet connected device that you have. So over here in Oracle X, we have our Mio XL, and we're going to go to the RTP slash mini network. So over on here, I can take any of these ports really and do this, um, but I'm actually specifically going to take RTP 13. This is automatically routed with uh, my host port one. Um, on the Mio XL. So I'm going to go in here. We're going to change this from responder to initiator. And we're going to change this um, and we're going to name it the name that was on our iPad. So it's I connect capital P pad. There we go. And we're going to save that in there. And you can see it's already made the connections very quick. Um, so this is, gives me the IP and the port number that it's connected on. So now if we go back um, into our iPad, we can go into the settings and we'll actually see if we go into MIDI, we'll see this uh, network session one. So I'm using uh, a MoGap here, but you'll see network session one. So we can select that and that's actually going to take, um, that's actually that connection that we just made with RTP 13. So what we can do now is I'm going to go back in Oracle X and we're going to reserve my uh, keyboard into that first host port. So up here, host one, I'm going to click on here and I'm going to select my code. And now I should be able to play uh, this app with that keyboard. You can kind of hear it playing there. So we have this keyboard over here. And if so, if I play some notes, it's just a controller. So I'll just play that. And that sound that you're hearing is actually just coming from the iPad speakers itself because I didn't hook up any audio uh, devices to it. Um, but that's just coming from the iPad itself. And then if we use the keyboard, There you go. Um, so that shows that we have a connection from this keyboard going into our Mio XL. 
and then the Mio XL coming through the Ethernet cable, through this adapter, and into our iPad. Now that seems like a lot, but you can see that the setup was pretty, pretty quick and easy. We just found the name for the iPad, we put it into the RTP, um, and we switched it to initiator. That made the connection uh, through the Ethernet. And then the only other thing we had to do was to go into the host reservation just for the controller. And now if you weren't uh, using the controller, then you wouldn't have to bother with that part. Um, so hopefully that helps you out and gives you an idea of how you can set it up. The cool thing about this is that uh, now every time we start up the iPad, it's automatically going to connect because the Mio XL is constantly searching in initiator mode for the iPad that we have set up. So every time now that this iPad is connected, so I'm going to disconnect it. I might take a bit for that to show up, but um, it'll always come back. And on the iPad, it'll always also show up as network session one. Anything that's connected network wise on an iOS device shows up as network session one. Um, Apple doesn't have the more advanced uh, setup like they do with MIDI Studio on a Mac. So um, you kind of have to do with everything going through network setup one. Um, another cool and interesting thing is that if you go to something like um, say Audio Bus 3 where they have more control over your MIDI, um, you can actually see all the devices that are now on the network. So you can see all the different networking devices that are available to you, uh, which is a lot because I have my Mio XL and my PA12, and I probably have a few more items on here as well. Um, so that's a great way to do it. Uh, a lot of people will use this kind of method uh, to connect with Lemur and, and other control services, but also to Sims, as I just did uh, with the Moog Model D app. So hopefully that helps you out.